Hey, this is Bill Gross, the LA probate expert. And our bidding war is now coming to an end. Is this a, a thing of the past? I don't think so, but for some reason, there's a lot of coverage of the press suggesting there is. I say it's fake news, and I'll explain why. So I saw quotes from a, uh, in Market Watch and in uh, Bloomberg Business. A lot of buyers have had enough. Bidding wars for home falls to lowest level since 2020. And it almost sounds like the market is completely flipping around based on that information. But like a lot of news, and in my lifetime, I think news has gone from a great source of information to really just another form of entertainment. I think like a lot of news, it's very misleading. And when you dig inside the details, the data does not support those claims. Let's take a look at it. This was an article recently written by a data, a data journalist at Redfin. And one thing I've learned about statistics is there's lies, damn lies in statistics. But importantly, you want to look at data, understand what it means to you or what it means to what you're trying to understand. So, for example, in this article, which was really just a Redfin press release that's picked up and covered by business journalists as though it's real news, it said that the number of properties that had competitive bidding wars had dropped significantly uh, and in December, it had been as low as 53.7%. The peak was 74.3%, and currently we're in the 60s. Sounds to me like we're about the same range the entire time. But here's the thing that it, you have to dig deeper and understand. It varies so much by locality. Raleigh, Carol, uh, North Carolina was red hot. 86.7%, uh, I'm sorry, it is red hot. 86.7% of offers in Raleigh, North Carolina have multiple bids versus only 46% a year ago. So it's gotten maybe twice as competitive. Whereas Oklahoma City, which was a, six, uh, a hot 60% a year ago, is now down to 35.7%. So it sounds like, you know, while nationally the numbers have come down a little bit, in some locales it's flipped significantly. Uh, the quotes, the poll quotes in the article were, sellers are still pricing their homes very high, but a lot of buyers have had enough and are no longer willing to pay the huge premiums that were six months ago. Well, if the difference is only three or four percent, it's not that buyers are not willing to pay. There's a few less buyers willing to pay the premium, but overall, it's still a very competitive situation. And when you dig even deeper, look in the, uh, the area that I serve most, Los Angeles, for example. In August 2021, 62.8%, 63%, had multiple offers. In July, it was 67%, so it cooled out a little bit from July. But August a year ago, 64.3%. It's been in the range of mid-60s continuously since over, over the last year, year and a half or so. So what does all this mean? Here's one thing consistently. Over half the homes are selling for prices over their current list price. And so buyers need to understand that's the real market today. They may not like it. They may look at properties that sold, and I've talked about this in prior videos. They may look at properties that sold three months ago, like their lender does on an appraisal. But that house that sold three months ago, not only was it an escrow six months ago, more likely, but it's gone. It had competition for it. You can't get that property today. You couldn't even get it back then without competition. And so understanding that's the case, if over half of the sales are that competitive, a buyer needs to look at the list price as a guideline, establish the value they're willing to pay and be aggressive if that's the property they're really looking for. Sellers also should know that it's still a competitive market. They can get great prices for their homes. Not only that, they still can negotiate the terms they need in terms of repairs not necessary, not being needed or not needing to upgrade a property, getting on the market quickly to get it locked in, which is my best recommendation, and also to negotiate a rent back so they can find the property that they're replacing. There's never been a better opportunity. So are the bidding wars stopping? Well, in some areas, yes. Overall, a little bit, yes. But the market is still very competitive. And I think it will be so as long as rates are this uh, low by historic standards, and as long as the economy is at least the condition it's in now. Of course, things could change any day. But right now, if you're looking to buy, it's a great time to lock in a great rate. If you're looking to sell, Great time to negotiate good terms. If I can help you, call me, text me, email me. I'm Bill Gross, the LA Probate Expert.com. Have a great week.